Welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna be taking you guys along with me on a day of work. Today's gonna be a little bit different and I'll explain in a second. If you are new here, welcome. And if you wanna subscribe so you don't miss out on any other future videos of mine, go ahead and do so. For those of you who are coming back, what's up? I am making another day in the life of a nurse video. This one is a little bit different. Now, if you know me from the first video that I made, that was in the hospital and I no longer work in the hospital. I work, well, technically inside a hospital building, but not for the hospital system. So for those of you who don't know me, my name is Priscilla. I'm a registered nurse of about four years now and I work in a plastic surgery practice. So our practice has three locations. Two of them are within a hospital and one of them is like in an office building. So I never go to that one. I usually go back and forth between the two bigger offices but I'm 90% of the time I'm in one location and I sometimes come out here where I am today on Mondays but it's not every Monday, so, but it, it works out. I, I live closer to this location and it's a different kind of flow. We don't do surgery in this location. We only do surgery in the bigger location and that's where I'm mainly at because I'm a surgery nurse and I'm the recovery room nurse. So that is where I spend most of my time. But occasionally on Mondays, I'm scheduled to work here with one of our surgeons and we do consults and follow-ups and treatments. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this video. I would love to hear back from you guys to see if this was helpful, if this was fun or entertaining to watch. I love watching these videos. I don't know why, but I know there's a population out there that also likes to watch work-related videos. I don't know, it's just fun. Let me know in the comments if you like this sort of video. I do want to make more. It is kind of hard to do a video like this on a busy day, so I'm really glad that today is a more laid back sort of day where we don't have a lot of patients because otherwise this would be almost impossible to do. I will try to get as much footage as I can, but of course I can't show a lot of things because of patient privacy. And not only that, but I'm not the only person in the office. So I'm trying to work with what I got. We'll see how that works out. I hope you enjoy it. Every day is a little bit different and on this day after I clocked in and checked the schedules I went and opened up all the rooms and cleaned and that just makes me feel better. I like to start out with a clean slate so I let that bed dry then I organized some breast implants that were out of place and then I also disinfected my iPad that I was going to use for that day. I like to do this in the beginning because it gets pretty gross and as you can see, look at that. So I don't want to transfer that to any patients or touch that. And these are the scrubs that I wore for this day. These are one of my favorite scrubs. These are by Cherokee Infinity and they're just so comfortable. I love the pants. They're joggers so it gives a little sporty look. I also love these shoes. They're Skechers and they're super comfortable. They're memory foam. I charted for a little bit. I've been at work here for about an hour. I've already done some things. There's quite a bit of people here. I'm trying to keep my voice low so it's not like too loud out there. Um, but I looked at the rooms, saw if we needed to bring any supplies. I printed the schedule for the whole week that our charge nurse sent over. I'm going to be using that as kind of like a guide for the rest of the week. Um, I'm going to explain to you guys what I'm going to do later, but for now I'm going to head out. Right now I'm in one of the rooms that we don't really use often, but it's good for pictures. This is the wall we use to take photos, and then every room has a blue wall like this for our before and after photos to look consistent. At this point, I rounded with one of our surgeons and saw some patients, and here I am heading out for a coffee break. It's actually my lunch break. All right, so I am on my lunch break. I'm going to uh, Dunkin' Donuts, which is literally connected to the parking lot of where I work. So yeah, it's kind of weird filming. 
people looking sometimes, but it's okay. It's a beautiful day and I'm gonna cross the street and look both ways. I've been having a good day at work. Um, the lighting sucks right now, so I will update you guys when I get to the car. I'm really happy because I had a free beverage reward that I hadn't used and it was about to expire, so I'm glad I used it. And I got a free beverage, yay! I did bring some lunch today, but I didn't want to eat just yet, and that is a huge coffee. I normally don't order a large. I don't know what got into me that day. I couldn't even finish it, but I'm going to take you guys to the car so that we can talk. Thanks for joining me on my lunch break. I'm going to chill in my car just for a few minutes and talk to you guys, and then I'll go upstairs and maybe eat a little something. I'm not too hungry. I wanted to talk to you guys here in like the privacy of my car because I can't really, I don't feel like at the liberty to talk so much in there because people are getting work done and their patients walking around. I tried to capture a little bit of the footage that you guys saw. The later part of today is gonna be a lot more laid back. I actually don't have any more patients to see. If you saw in the video, I was talking, oh, there's somebody looking. I think it's so awkward when people look. I'm like the most introverted person in real life. Sometimes I can be, but then out here I can just talk to strangers through the camera. It's so weird. So in my last day in the life of a nurse video, that was a whole different kind of nursing. This kind of nursing is a more controlled environment, especially on surgery days. I just I just love it and I didn't think I was going to love it this much. Um, we do have these nice office days every now and then. They can get a little bit hectic sometimes if we have back-to-back -back patients or have a lot of procedures back-to-back -back, but today is so different. So today is just like the perfect day to film because there's not really a whole lot going on with patients which is good and bad for filming because it does allow me to film more but there's not a whole lot to film. However, even if I had back-to-back -back patients and a full schedule. I would still not be able to film any of that. Um, the doctor I'm working with today brought me some files that I've been working on from the other location so that I can work on them here. He's actually leaving to the other location, so I'm going to be here um, on my own. There's other providers here. There's um, our PA who's the injector, so she's doing Botox and fillers and procedures and things like that um, the rest of the day. So she's here. Um, we have a receptionist. We have an esthetician, and it's just such a nice environment. I just feel like I can rely on, on the people that I work with. It's definitely all about teamwork. So when my lunch is over, I'm going to go back up there. I have a to-do list that I started so I have some time left on my break and I'm gonna head back in a little bit but I just wanted to like point this out here if you've watched my first video which was a day in the life of a nurse I'll link it down in the description I think back on that and how my life used to be and where I came from working in the hospital and being stressed out on my lunch break not like eating properly getting tons of phone calls not being able to like pee for the first time of the day in peace because the phone would be going off the hook and just a bunch of other things that if you're a nurse you know what I'm talking about it's just so different and I just feel so so blessed to be where I am today this is the best nursing job that I've ever had and well I've only ever worked in the hospital so I don't really know what else is out there it's just such a great team and such a great environment I feel like I'm human like I feel like I'm I can pay attention to my body, I can come home to my family and not be like a hot mess and sure things get busy and get hectic sometimes but because I've endured so much in the hospital I feel like I can handle it a lot more now and a lot of you guys ask me do you recommend going straight into like a doctor's office or going to the hospital and it's really a personal decision because it's such a different atmosphere, it's just a different environment and you learn so much from being in the hospital and you get humbled so much from the work that you do and you get challenged in so many ways, not just physically, but mentally. You're constantly thinking, critically thinking, and that is important too. So I'm glad that I did that first and now I'm here. I think God's plan and his purpose was for it to work out this way and I don't know what that is to you if you're right now getting out of nursing school or trying to decide what to do. I get this question a lot and it's just so hard to answer because I don't know. I, I don't know if what would have happened if straight out of nursing school I would have started working in a doctor's office versus the hospital. I don't know where that would have led me. I don't know if I would have stayed. I don't know if I would have learned as much. I definitely know that for sure. I would not have learned 
as much as I've learned now because I worked in the hospital if I would have just gone straight to a doctor's office so maybe I would have had like a different like say like may maybe more of a specialized kind of knowledge but in the hospital it's so broad and especially in critical care that's just something it's valuable to me and I would do it all over again even through the struggles I would still do it all over again and this is just such a, a blessing a reward after everything if you guys know from that video I was talking a little bit about anxiety before work the night before work even I don't get that anymore I don't stress about it like I used to and it used to be crippling like it used to bring me to tears and I would just dread it so much but now it's not like that so I definitely came a long way and I'm just so happy to to be here and blessed to have the job that I have and the opportunities that it comes with and I just wanted to say that for you if you are struggling and you're in this position that maybe I was in that it does get better you can find a job in nursing that fulfills you and that makes you feel happy um, this definitely has a more creative side to it that I feel like I can thrive in the patients are also different they're not really they're not sick patients they're happy they're healthy they just want to look better and feel better and yeah sometimes we do deal with other things and patients do get sick but it's it's nothing like in the hospital and I think you just have to find what makes you happy like some people thrive in a pediatric kind of setting and that patient population is what makes them happy or maternity labor and delivery like just find your niche find your your happy place I can't say that maybe in pediatrics I wouldn't be happy I mean maybe I would or in mother baby or in oncology who knows actually no I take that back I couldn't do oncology but you get the point this part's already long enough so I'm just gonna go back up there and I will keep the footage rolling I guess so here are some supplies that were sent from another location. Um, you got some calcium chloride, a few instruments that were already sterilized, some gloves, and ice packs. All of our supplies and medications get shipped to our main location where we do surgery, so we have to make sure that our other two locations get fully stocked, meaning whoever goes to that location on a given day takes a cart or a bag full of supplies to ensure that nothing runs out. This isn't necessary every single day, but it is an ongoing thing that we do to make sure that our practice runs smoothly. So I'm just making sure that we have enough suture removal kits in this room and staple removers and here I'm just trying to balance this camera on a few different implants that are different sizes so I'm sorry if it looks lopsided <laughs> get it lopsided breast implants anyone since we are all done seeing patients today I am shutting down the rooms which means I gotta clean everything up and disinfect I always like to fold the gowns in half because I just find that I can fit a lot more in there and I do the same with the sheets, I actually just fold them in thirds. So I just channel my inner Marie Kondo and I fold things. I put a few more disposable bikinis or photo panties just to make sure we have enough. Then I went to the computer and I charted on a couple of my patients from earlier that day and I also started working on those files I was telling you guys about. I'm making sure that um, the patients that are gonna have local procedures have their medications sent to their pharmacy and I make sure that their allergies are in the computer and I look through their medical history. I also email them with the date, time, and location of their procedure and I also attach their pre and post procedure instructions. I'm packing up. I'm just gonna go through my to-do list. I thrive on to-do lists. So, so I've completed everything on my list today. I'm gonna start heading out. I'm gonna shut down this computer. Overall, it was a really good day. I was able to do the things that I needed to get done. So let's go. So we have some skincare over here. We've got um, some color science, uh, sun protection, some skin medica. 
Latisse, Elta MD, great products. And we have a fractional CO2 laser. We have some in-mode equipment. This is one of the ones that we have. We actually have a, a bunch of others. And we have IPL. Anyway, my battery's about to die, so I'm gonna head out. And like I said, every single day is different. So this was just a different kind of day where I got to do some housekeeping things, but the next day I had surgery and it was super crazy busy. So that just goes to show every single day is different and that is something I really like about this job. And I really wanna film on a surgery day so you guys can see the other side of things and how different it can be. I'm driving home, it's still raining, I'm at a light. Um, but I just wanted to mention this because I didn't see it in the beginning and I think it's so important. Um, I um, take this time to start my day and end my day with gratitude. Oh, please. It's moving. All right, guys. I'm home. I don't even remember the last thing I said. I usually listen to music on my way home or a podcast or preaching. And my go-to is Elevation Worship, um, the collection on Spotify. They just have all my favorite jams. <laughs> I always like to start and end my workday with gratitude and praying or talking to god and just doing that firstly because that just sets the tone for the rest of the day and it puts me in a good mood and it's just good to do so i encourage you guys to do something like that or whatever your version of that may be whatever time of the day but it does seriously make a difference um especially in the beginning of the day when there's like traffic and there's just like a lot of reasons to be cranky and annoyed it just grounds me and it puts me in a really good place to start my day i'm a little later than i expected i think it was because of traffic and it was raining but now it's nice and bright and sunny because that's how florida is and i have some time to do like a quick at home workout no excuses i'm gonna do it and then i'm gonna shower and get ready for a bible study I think my husband's home already. Yes, he is. I drive a Ford C-Max and it's awesome because it's hybrid and I only pump gas like maybe once every couple weeks. And we also have the Explorer, but I don't take this to work. Johnny takes that to work. Hi, buddy. Hi, Bobby. Hey, baby. Oh. So his name is Rex. He's my baby. Where's daddy? Rex, where's daddy? Let's go find him. <laughs> I got a quick workout in. I showered, got ready for class, and here I am with Johnny. This is also the first time I washed my hair since I got my hair cut, and yeah, it doesn't know what it wants to do yet. My class is finished. Got my notes. It's really good class. I almost forgot to close out on this video, so I'm just gonna say bye. Thank you for watching. And if you like this video, give it a like and comment. I love talking to you guys in the comment section. I'm gonna go get unready for bed and get my things ready for tomorrow, and I'm gonna go to bed. I'm tired. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos and I will talk to you guys later.